In this video, we're going to talk about how to create the PCB footprint of your PSPI schematic and how to transfer your PSPI schematic into the RCAD PCB editor. Once you create your schematic in PSPI, the next step is to create the PCB footprint of each and every component that you have used in the circuit. In our case, we have used diodes, op amps, transistors, resistors, and capacitors. When you click on each and every component, you will find a column of PCB footprint. In case of an op amp, we are using a DIP8 package. To find that footprint in the PCB editor library, you need to go into C Cadence Share PCB PCB Library and Symbols folder. We can find the dip 8 PCB footprint in that folder. Once you find it, copy the name into the PCB footprint. Similarly, do it for rest of the components. Like in transistor we have used TO 92 so go to the same folder again find TO92 copy the name into the PCB footprint once you are done with PCB footprint of all the components the next step is to go into the my project tab highlight the dot dsn go to tools and hit annotate After annotation, you need to do the design rules check. Make sure you check the run electrical rules. Hit OK. And if nothing appears, it means that your design rule check is correct. Once you are done with design rule check, then you need to create the netlist. Make sure you check the create or update PCB editor board. This will create a folder of Allegro with your PSPI schematic that will include the board file of your schematic that you have built in PSPI. That board file will be saved as .brd. Also make sure that you check the open board in RCAD PCB editor. When you are satisfied with all these options, hit OK. It will start creating the netlist. And the ORCAD PCB editor window will automatically open. Now the first step you have to do here is to create the board outline. Go to setup outline board outline now if you want a rectangular board hit on place rectangle define the width and height of your board now the units used here are mils keep in mind that thousand mils is equal to one inch so for example if your board is five inches wide and 5 inches heighted you need to 
enter the values of 5000 in width and 5000 in height. Once you give these values, place the board on the screen of PCB editor and hit OK. It will automatically create the board outline. The next step is to bring all the components on the board. Go to place. Now you can place the components either manually or all of them at the same time by using the option of quick place. Here I will choose quick place. Make sure you check place all components. This option determines where you want to place your components. Here I have checked the top. The total component that I have used in my circuit is 33. And when you hit place, if all of the components are placed on the board, it means that you are good to go with your PCB editor and all of the components from your PSPICE have been transferred into the PCB editor. When the components are placed, click OK. You can see that all of your components are appear on the top of the board outline. Now these components are created using a really complex type of wiring. This complex type of wiring is called rat's nest. This determines that which pin of your component is connected to which pin of the other component. Once you get all these components, try to move these components and place it on the board that you have de determined. In order to place these components easily, you need to turn off all the options and just check symbols. Click on each and every component and drag it inside the board. Now you can place these components anywhere you want. The connections will not be lost. Once you place all the components on the PCB board, the next step is routing. In order to route the traces, we need to go to route PCB router and hit route automatic. As we are doing a single layer routing, so we don't need to check both the top and bottom layers. We need to check only the bottom layers. Check the use smart router. Check enable diagonal routing and hit route. Now when you hit route it will automatically generate the routes for you.
you can also undo the automatic routing if you are not satisfied with your routing connections here I will close this demo window and open the more appropriate PCB editor file When you do the routing, you need to make sure that you select an appropriate width of your trace. In order to do that, you need to select Add Connect. And when you select Add Connect, you can connect any wire to any pin. You can increase the width. An angle to any desired value. In order to change the width, just right click on a trace, go to change width, and change the width to any value that you want. Once you are done with the routing and you are satisfied with it, you need to see a different sides and dimensions of your boat. For that, the PCB editor provides a really interesting option that is called the 3D view. You can flip your boat on both sides and check it. This is the 3D view of your boat. When all the components are mounted on the top of it, your final boat will look like this. You can even see the top, the bottom, front, back, any side of your boat. 